All right, how's it going everybody? Today, we'll be taking, taking a look at my new phone versus my old phone. So this old boy, he's from high school. This is what got me through high school. This is what got me through um, all those years. I used it back in 2013. Saved up a bunch of money that I got from working at Taco Bell. And um, and I purchased this phone from Newegg. I believe I got it, uh, let me see. I got it open box for $330 in 2013, 2014, I think it was. And, and I've had it ever since, I just never, I replaced it back in 2016 when I bought the Axon 7, which that doesn't really work anymore. I think it's, I think it's, uh, it's life is over. The battery's done. I have to replace that if I want to use it. But so I just thought it'd be interesting because I upgraded my phone recently to the uh, Galaxy or the Samsung Note 20 Ultra. What am I talking about? Galaxy. This is the Note 20 Ultra, and this is the Xperia Z Ultra. I figured that, you know, it'd be kind of an interesting comparison taking the two Ultras from, <laughs> from one from 2013 and one from 2020 and uh, putting them through their paces, see how they work. The Xperia Z Ultra, it's well behind in, in uh, updates and I don't believe it'll ever, it has, if it has any more updates, I believe it's done. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's even navigating the phone is very slow. So let's see what it's on. It's on Android 5.1.1. See what happens if I click on that. Android Lollipop, and we'll see what I have my Note 20 on. I believe it's the latest. Shouldn't be here. There we go. Android 12 versus Android 5. It's it's not a fair comparison. This is just the future, and this is what we, what we had in the past. I just thought it'd be, and this, so, little bit of history. The Xperia Z Ultra was actually the first 1080p smartphone. Um, it had a lot, of, a lot of other quirks and features as well, so you could also use a a pencil as a stylus if you wanted. It was kind of a neat little thing. It's also waterproof. My uh, Mine is no longer waterproof because the little flap that protects the charger port, as you could imagine, it broke off and it hardly charges either because, uh, well, I don't know, I think the pins in it are going bad. I did use this quite a lot and I recently reset it so there's not much on here right now, but we can do a couple quick comparisons between this and my, my new phone. Um, so this is the Sap Snapdragon, uh, let me remember, 804, it's a Snapdragon 800, and this is the 865 Plus. This is about seven years newer, and so there's a huge age difference between the two. Um, this is the first time I've started this phone in quite some time, so it still looks like it's still doing a lot of thinking in the background, and it is kind of warm. But, um, so let's, uh, let's open up some apps and see the speed difference between the two. So let's make sure this one's all closed and then this one's all closed. So we'll go here. Let's open up Chrome at the same time. Let's see. Three, two, one, go. We're already there. And... There we go. Takes a bit. Man, it's just, <laughs> it's kind of a throwback. So let's let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, actually, let's take a look at one. Let's take a look at another one. Let's try gallery. And this one will be album. Three, two, one, boom. Uh, yep, there you go. 
clearly a speed difference. Uh, let's take a look at the phone app. In three, two, one, and go. There you go. And then let's take a look at the camera app. Three, two, one, and go. Um, okay, <laughs> there it is. Uh, let's change it to selfie mode. That's right there. That's right there. <laughs> oh boy. It has been some time. I'm just surprised it still runs. This phone, when I had it in high school, people knew me for this phone. It was just so outrageously large that it looked like a piece of toast next to my head. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Um, let's do another one. How about, uh, let's see, we can do Google Photos. I know I have that one on here. Three, two, one, boom. And there we are. Um, I guess there we're not. Yep. This is what four gigs of RAM gets you. So this has four gigabytes of RAM on a quad core processor. This is 12 gigabytes of RAM on I believe an eight core processor, 128 gigs versus I believe this is 64. I would have to check, maybe it's 32. I don't remember. There it goes. Qualcomm. MSM 8974, I don't remember which one it is. It's an, it's an Snapdragon 800. Yeah. <laughs> Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, if you ask me. Uh, by today's standards. Let's see, let's try... Maps. Boom. Yeah, we are spoiled today. Modern phones, they just load so quickly, it's make your head spin so fast and this is still loading I just thought it was kind of interesting uh, take the two and see what's changed <laughs> this is what was ultra before in 2013 and this is what is ultra today even this is this is uh, this phone is out of date by today's standards the s22 ultra is coming out very soon so even this one's replaced by a faster phone but just Take into consideration that I think phones these days, anything essentially after, I don't know, 2016 or 2018, maybe 2019, you don't need to upgrade. I mean, my, my mom still uses an iPhone 6, but I think that's pushing it in my opinion. It's just the poor thing. It's just, I'm surprised it still works though. I keep this phone out of nostalgia, really nothing else. Um, it has an FM radio app, I think okay, like great. Um, let's see, I wonder what else we have that are the, oh, we both have Google Play games, so let's see what happens, uh, three, two, one, boom. Do we have any games on here? I, I doubt it. And and it froze. Okay, so let's let's try that again. <laughs> and it's it's okay. Man, I this is a fresh install, a restart on this phone. So it actually does bloatware on it. And as you can tell by age, it has Google Play Music, which they shut down. <laughs> as you can see it's it's done there they don't have Google Play Music anymore which sucks because I actually had the whole Doom soundtrack from Doom 2016 the game on here from Google Play Music I saved up I saved up some money from the uh, uh, the reviews the Google reviews program and I, I got enough just to buy the album and I bought it on Google Play Music and it's gone now I that's just the, the sad fact of life when it comes to downloadable content and you don't have physical media. It's just well, once they decide to get rid of it, I guess you don't own it anymore. So 
there's that that sucks so we'll uh, let's take a look we got both we both have notes apps on here so let's open up the notes app Samsung notes and the Xperia notes one two three go there it is we can even try out the stylus functions on on our old boy here um, let's see let's create a new note let's create a new note let me uh, grab a pencil real quick. I'll, let's go get a pencil. Let's see. There we go. That, that should work. And then let's set back up on our little table here. Okay. So, I can't use a pencil on, on my Note 20 Ultra, but I do have a S Pen, so we'll use that. And then I believe I should be able to write on this. Oh, look at that. It still works. Still use it like a, you can still use a pencil in there. I wonder, should be able to, I don't remember if I can just write on the screen, but Here's what we have with today's technology, you know. Um, let's see, trades, man, run. That is me. Oh, I'll put a little open end wrench on there. The, sorry, there you go. <laughs> ah, yeah, and the, I don't, should be able to. It's kind of interesting that you could navigate the whole UI on this phone with a pencil. The idea was that, you know, if you're an office worker, you probably have a pencil or a pen on you, so you could, you know, just use as a pencil. It's a neat little thing, but uh, the screen's definitely scratched up. <laughs> that hasn't made it very far. Um, we got other neat things on here. You have AR, oh, my bad, but AR. Um, I thought that was really neat a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. No one really cares though about AR. It wasn't didn't last very long. Oh, that's cute. I haven't started up AR Effect in a long time. This is like a Nintendo app. Sadly, uh, Samsung dropped support, or I'm sorry, um, the whole, what is it? Let's try to, okay. So it's detected the service, surface. <laughs> we got little, we got little guys. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this, you, you can't really use this phone anymore because it's so out of date that hardly anything can be downloaded onto it anymore. Like, I don't even think there are any games I can get on it. Uh, I mean, I can look into it. I don't really care that much too, though. It's just, I don't know. It's nostalgic looking back on this. And this is, uh, this is what we had. This is what I had back in high school. And now I just we really take technology for granted. I mean, look at this. This is a smaller framed phone than the Xperia Z Ultra and it has a bigger screen I mean and the screen not only is it larger but it's I mean there's no bezels look at this this phone is all bezel it's like 70% screen the rest of it is just bezel it's just pretty amazing what we had <laughs> back then and this this everyone loved it it was just such a rare, unusual device. And now everyone just has either a large phone or, you know, we have options now. You have small phones, uh, iPhone minis and whatnot. And, and look at this, it's just so fast what we have these days. And this, I, I don't even have it on the, on the whole, what is it, 120 hertz setting. This is smooth on the, on the 60 hertz setting. It's pretty amazing. Now let's take a look at the back of these phones. Set this one down. We have three cameras on here. 
You have an ultra wide, you have a wide, and you have a telephoto up to 50 times zoom and a laser autofocus module here. And then there's your flash. And my poor uh, Sony here is gonna get embarrassed. He doesn't have much for cameras. So let's, let's see, it's at 24% after a very long time of charging. So it's not charging very good. So that's too bad. We'll plug it back in later. And this is what we have on here. You have this, this little sad little guy. And he doesn't even, this, I don't know, I think it's eight megapixel, maybe 12. I don't know, it's not good. Oh, focus. Focus. Yeah, Lumix is, come on. Has NFC, that was pretty big back then. No one really cares. No flash though. So if you needed to have a, have a little flashlight, well, get a real flashlight. <laughs> but one thing I do like about this is that it's so thin. It is impressively thin. It is just absolutely impressive how thin it is. You can extend the storage on this with the micro SD card slot. It has a headphone jack, which is extremely rare these days. Here's your power button. Symmetri sy da -da -da -da. It's halfway through the design of the phone. Perfect position for your thumb, which the same thing on my Note 20 Ultra. But then you have your volume rocker here. Then you have a spot to put a lanyard. Let's focus. Focus, focus, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give up on that one. And then you have a bottom firing speaker right here, your microphone for speaking into the deal. And then I don't know if this upper earpiece is a firing speaker or not. I believe it's just at the bottom. So, cause this is from the days when you would cup the bottom in order to get some sound out of, better sound out of it. Let's take a couple photos and we'll use them to compare. I'll do a little selfie on the Xperia Z Ultra. Uh, oh, ooh, that is bad. We'll do a selfie right here. Yep, so then we'll take a selfie on here. There we go. Yeah, this is, I mean, let's let's get a little close up on the camera module here. Let's take a look at that. That is, look at the iris on that. It is just so sad. Let's change it to manual focus really quick. Get in on that. Look at that. It is just terribly sad how small that is. And then let's take a look at it my current phone. Look how big these camera modules are. It's just, it is outrageous how large they are. Like this, and there's even more. They have even better now. Look at the, look at the thickness, the bump. Back in these, back in this day, we didn't have camera bumps. It was, it was, this was a seamless flat design, but you know, now we have camera bumps which kind of sucks. All right, let's change it back to autofocus. There we go. Yeah, and so that's, there you have it. This is, it's just kind of nostalgic looking back on what we had and, and this was top class. This was extremely fast and really decent back 2013, you know, 2014 when I had it. It was a good phone and the reviews on it, I remember watching so many reviews. I think Lou from Unbox Therapy did a review on it. I think uh, Detroit Borg, you know, if he still does videos, if he still exists, he he had a video on this and it was, it was just a time long past. And uh, Sony dropped support on this, I think it was like a year after I had bought it. So I know I bought it in 2014 and it was literally just a two year support and that was it, it was done. There was no more support on it. It was so quick. <laughs> and now Samsung supports um, the, their phones 
for at least three years of current software updates. Not that it really matters, the newest um, updates of Android are honestly, you know, there's very, they're very incremental, especially this latest one on Android 12. I mean, it's got the whole bubble effect, extra dim, I don't know, it's, I, I don't care too much for it. They didn't change all too much going to this um, latest update from 11, so it's not like I care all that much. But when we had updates back then, it was like, it was huge going from KitKat to Lollipop, like those were big updates. They meant a lot, but now it's just, it doesn't. <laughs> it also like, it's just, yeah, it's kind of sad. And we don't have indicator lights anymore. Look at that, no more indicator lights. On here, look at this. I mean, you can set it up to where we have like this infinity edge around the screen that'll light up and stuff. But over here, you don't. I mean, you had just you just had this this indicator light, which I do miss. I do miss. You know, you know, you can have it set up to to blue for Facebook or whatever, and so you knew exactly what your message was or what your notification was. Um, before you even open up your phone and it's just nice when you I started this up and it had the PlayStation 4 startup sound you know <laughs> it's just it's just kind of crazy um, I don't know if Sony still makes phones they probably still do but I probably will not buy a Sony phone probably ever just because their their whole mobile phone um, department isn't well supported in my opinion. I mean they have some of the best cameras on their phones. They have some of the best cameras in general, but in my opinion this um, they, they just drop support too quick. I mean I still I have a Note 9 I gave to my little sister and she still gets security and patches and updates every month and that's from I think 2018. That's four years old. This phone I probably still will get uh, updates up until 2025 or whatever like there's this it's crazy but this is what we had this is what we have now and time has flown it is just amazing what we are able to do now with phones you have four cameras in total on this phone with laser autofocus so quick it'll make your eyes bleed it's just so quick and so sharp we have up to I believe this has a hundred something megapixel um, sensor on it. We open it up, we can see. I believe it's right here. Oh, hold on, we're in selfie mode. Click right here. There we go. 108 megapixels. That is just nuts. I took a f couple of photos the other day while we were out. And this is what I got. I mean, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put it in the video. It's just amazing the technology we have these days. And now, you know, everyone just still upgrades every year. But I think back in these days when we had these phones, it made sense to upgrade every year. The upgrades were not incremental. They were huge. I mean, going from four cores, six cores, eight cores, six gigs of RAM, eight gigs of RAM, 12 gigs of RAM, you know, being able to have so many apps open and use your phone as an entire computing system, an actual computer that, I mean, I can, I don't even need a gaming PC. I, I mean, I don't even need a console. We can do everything on this phone. Back then, <laughs> you really couldn't with this. I mean, this was great for watching YouTube, which honestly, I am impressed, still runs. We can do a little comparison of what YouTube looks like. We'll give a little shout out to Vice Grip Garage. I believe he just posted. So let's let's go to Vice Grip Garage. So it is still loading on the Sony. It might actually it might just close. Let's see. Maybe it'll run better if it was charging. This is from the time before when we didn't even have HDR content. Now this, this is HDR. This is HDR 10 plus even, I think. So let's close that out. Look at that. A bezel-less experience, 98% screen. This, 72% screen. Now, 
I think I might have to close out some apps and then open up the YouTube app. So let's, let's try that again. <laughs> it's, it's trying, it's trying. Let's see. It. Derek from Vice Grip Garage is honestly one of my favorite channels on YouTube. He is just, he is just a blast to watch. He's doing sick week this week in Florida. So he's, he's posting a lot of content. So I'll be really busy watching that when I get around to it. Um, I have a couple other videos coming up too. As an update, I need to edit the videos for it, but I just added can lights to my 1947 house. So should be doing a video on that soon. Um, I do need to edit that. <laughs> Maybe we'll work on that today. I don't know. Then, um, We'll be working on this video too, but I'm, I just wanted to do a comparison video. I mean, this is smartphone from 2013. This is smartphone 2020. Seven years has gone by to get this and it is just technology moving so fast. But I believe technology is slowing down. There's not much more you can do and there's not much faster that you really need, really. Now we've gotten to this point where it's just it's just really good. We are in a very good spot. And this is the sweet spot of technology and it is just amazing what we can do these days. And this is what we had before. And this is Tradesman Ron. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this long ranting video comparing two technically old phones. Like this is old actually by today's standards and this is really old. This is ancient technology. I just wanted to do a quick comparison and a small little video for you guys ranting about times long past, I guess. <laughs> Has it even been that long? Seven years is a blink of an eye in, <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. But just looking back at this, it's just quite amazing what we've come from in the nine years. And look at this, the phone still charges and it's nine years old. How amazing is that? Time's completely wrong on it. It's not, it's, it's 12, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> not 313 but it's still loading YouTube and I think it's we'll give this phone a break give it some time to relax and enjoy retirement as I put this note 20 through its uh, through its hard and arduous career thank you so much for watching and as I tried to close out before this is tradesman Ron I'm so happy you guys tuned in for whoever is watching you have a blessed day. Enjoy your time out there and subscribe if you like. If you don't like, don't subscribe. That's fine by me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, have a good day. Bye-bye.